Hello, welcome back to Aggie Cakes. Um, it has been a few months since I've uploaded a video. Um, what you will see next is a video is a cake that I did about two days ago. I'm sh I'm sorry, yesterday. Um, I did work on it. It was a, a couple of hours. Um, the the video will be edited like for 15 minutes. So if you have any questions, let me know. I had lots of fun in making it, and I hope you like it as well. Um, happy New Year. I know it's February, but happy 2021. It's going to be a better year this year. Okay, so we're going to start off by baking two six by two uh, cake rounds. And what I did is I um, baked another eight by two and I kind of trimmed it off to be more like a seven or seven and a half. I put the bottom six inch at the bottom and then the seven and a half inch and then a six inch. And I basically cut the all of them like in half. So it was a total of six, like six, um, six, um, like cakes, I guess you could say. And there was buttercream on the sides. That way the chocolate mousse wouldn't come out. And what I did use was a special buttercream frosting that will harden really hard. That way it can hold its, hold its shape once I put the fondant over it. So um, this recipe I did get from YouTube a while back, um, the cake recipe. Um, Crazy Cool Cakes uses it, and I think they got it from another baker, a very famous baker as well. Um, the only thing I did is add it maybe um something different everybody kind of changes it up um anywho so what i'm making there it's gonna be um the next thing that i'm gonna be making is a dollar sign that goes on the money bag um so i did use a tie looser um which basically hardens the fondant so if you let it like if you put a whole lot then it'll harden it really quickly if you put less then it's not really gonna work uh, the money sign i downloaded it from google and then i basically cut it with scissors and then i trimmed it with the exacto knife so um there is probably cookie cutters out there um i didn't really have one so i went ahead and did that you have we have to think outside the box sometimes um so just make sure your exacto knife is very very sharp since it does have uh, some edges that you need to really go in there um so that's basically what i did there This third step would be uh, making the dollars. Um, what you can just easily just put it like that, but it's not really going to bend well and it may not last as long if you don't put it on top of fondant. So just make sure um, that um, what I did is also add a Thai loose powder, CMC powder to the fondant because if you don't add it, um, it's not going to harden. So you do need it to harden in order for it to stand on the cake, like the flowy money coming out. So, and I did it uh, somewhat, not that thick, but somewhat thick just to make sure that it would stand on its own. So um, I did uh, a couple of shapes or like some of them like kind of flowy. And then I did one that was just one of them that was rolled out like the one you see right now. Okay, so this step, um, you're just gonna roll out fondant. What you're trying to do is achieve a ribbon-like, um, or rope-like, I'm sorry, uh, fondant. Uh, for this one, I just added a little bit of tie loose. Um, you can add a little bit more so you can harden. Um, I didn't add as much as the dollar ones, but I still added it because I still want it to get hardened. That way, when I paint over it, it's easier. So for this, I did roll up the what I uh, the two of the fondant, so it can make like the tie knot that's gonna go on the cake, as you can see. Um, after this, I did go ahead and make um, two more. They were a little bit longer because that that is gonna basically drop down on the cake. So um, you know, you just have to kind of take your time with this.
Okay, so um, the next step, I didn't record myself rolling out the fondant, but you do have to roll it out lengthwise, like wide, I guess, size. You have to make sure it's enough to cover the entire um, the entire cake. So the method of this is different. Usually I cover my cakes and I just throw the font, not throw it, but basically put the fondant on top and then it droops down. This would be a little different. So you're rolling out the fondant through the sides and you're letting um, the excess come up, I guess you could say. My mistake here was making the fondant, I guess I cut it too much from the top and it wasn't thick enough how I wanted it. So on this, you will see that I'm trying to, you know, make it, I guess, kind of look flowy, more natural but it's just not working it keeps drooping down which means that it's too thin the top part is too thin so um as you can see right here in this image you can see that it's it's not really working to my liking and then my mistake was to cut it too much so what i did do eventually is i didn't add that i did make a new a new one i cut everything off and then i made a thicker one that could kind of look better um, more put together with the cake. Okay, so here I trim the edges, the excess edges from the bottom um, of the cake to give, you know, obviously to make it smoother. Um, so, you know, basically that's what it is this is a little caption of how the bills look and then on this part um, I am adding the dollar sign already um, my mistake there was um, the edible gold it's very complicated so it's always best if you if you probably color on white it's it's best if you just color it when you put the whatever it whatever you're putting put it on first if not, that, that stuff gets on you everywhere and then you'll have to go back and clean it. it it's, it's kind of annoying. Um, so on this, uh, on this video caption, you can see that I have already changed uh, the top of the money bag. It is thicker as you, you guys can see um, versus the other. So um, this edible gold, uh, like I said, it's very tricky. Um, I use vodka to um, make it liquid. It does come in a powder format, so and it does take a long time. I think this is one of the mo most time-consuming part of it because you you want to get it, you want to get all the you know edges and everything to make it look like it's actual gold, you know. So this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I try to edit my video as much as I could. So, okay, so there I'm already putting the dollar, the uh, not the dollars, the $100 bills on the cake. When I tried to put the $100 bills, they kept on falling. So the next thing, since the dollar bit was is a little bit thick, I got some thin dollars or skewers that you can get at any store. Just make sure they're not that thick. Um, and you just poke it very lightly on the back of the dollar bill and it's gonna stick to it. And once it hardens, nothing's really going to be able to move it so that's kind of like the back end so this is the the end of the video as you can see this is how it turned out i hope that you enjoyed this and if you have any questions let me know also if you're new to my channel uh, like and subscribe and hit the notification button i will be making new videos thank you